Pals, it's YouTube time. Who is pumped? I am pumped. How pumped? I'm drinking tea pumped. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Hello, this is Kelsey Huff. Thanks so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. But I thought, hey, you know what? I wasn't on the YouTube hype when it started like six years ago. And like, there were some videos that I didn't do. And one of those classic YouTube videos are, are, hold on, what's in my bag? But I don't have a bag because I'm not a dainty gal. I have a backpack. Whoa. Am I going hiking? No, I live in Chicago. I'm just going to the L. But for some reason, I have one big stinking backpack. So I'm gonna do a YouTube classic because again, I wasn't on YouTube six years ago when everybody and their grandmother was doing a what's in my bag video. So let's do this. What the heck is in this sucker? And also, how strong am I? Yeah, that's right. I carry this around every day. Cause I'm amazing. And my posture's really bad. Okay, <laughs> so where do we start here? Because there are several, several zippers. There's several of them. Okay, so this is the brand, hey. And uh, I got this in Lincoln Square. There's a local store called Planet Access. And this definitely was not a cheap bag. I had some like American Express gift card slash credit card things, you know what I'm talking about. So I was able to get this bad boy, and the reason I wanted it is because I knew it was gonna be super heavy and I wanted a backpack with some padding. Now I wear this thing every day and I think I've had it for over a year, so one of the bummers about this backpack, I don't know if you can see, it does chafe just like my thighs. It does wear down right here because it rubs against my back. And again, I wear this every single day. Um, um oh, I think I have a peanut in my tooth. Whoops, sorry about that. Let's start with the zippers up here and we'll go through this sucker super quick, just so I can feel like now I'm officially on, on YouTube. If I do a what's in my bag, I'm officially a YouTuber, right? That's just proven science. Look at the analytics. Zipper number one. I love everybody else does this. They have like designer bags. They're so fancy. Not I. Okay, first thing, we have a CTA card. I don't want to show you the numbers because I don't know you. You might be a straight up criminal. <laughs> I love you, thank you for watching. Okay, so I've got the CTA card, the Ventra in the tiny pocket. I've got this little thing, you know, for the headphones because you don't wanna listen to what people are saying on public transportation. <laughs> Gross. So these are the old headphones and I love these little things. They keep them organized because it, it, before I had this little thing, it was just, just a tangled disaster in the backpack. And these are the old headphones and I have the new iPhone. So I do have this little extender -oo that fits. What else do I have in here? Oh, I have a thousand hair ties or one or one. I have a bunch of pens. Um, oh, I have my new lip liner that I just have in here. And I have a Field Notes pen. And I have, oh, these are my favorite pens. I love them, they're very gel. Pilot G207. The problem is they're very hard to write on your hand. And you know how I like to write on my hand when I'm hosting shows, like a real professional. So these are good for the notebooks, but they're not good for writing on a hand. Field Notes, huh? <laughs> like I'm swatching it like makeup. Look at how this pen. Just the ink just bleeds right into your hand. Mmm. All right, let's wipe that off. Oh, it's tasty as well. Tastes like salty poison. That's probably just my skin. Uh, all right, let's wipe that off here. Again, pretty professional YouTuber. What did you do to record YouTube today? Oh, I just licked my hand, no big deal. And then this is that Jordana lip liner. I got a backup one. Um, this was in my empties video, and this is a Baby Berry, same thing. And then this is a Revlon Matte Ultra HD lip color in the flavor slash color, I don't know. Who even knows? Oh, there's a hair in it. Ew, gross. In the color hairy. So it's this color. Oh, it looks very new, doesn't it? It's like a little, oops, <laughs> I don't know how to do things. It's a little mauve -y. You know, let's put it on. Oops, uh, this is hard to do. It looks very much like the color of my lips. And if I don't have a lip liner, you can't tell where my line is. No big deal. There we go. There's the tiny pocket. Anything else? Oh, bobby pin. And more hair ties. Now, bobby pin, controversial. How do y'all use bobby pins? Because I was told you put the curly part down and the straight part out. So you use a bobby pin like this, right? Like that? But then I see people wearing it like this with the curly part out. What is happening? Confusing. 
Righto. Next pocket, we'll discover that bobby pin mystery later. I'm gonna do this one in here, inner pocket, and usually this is where I keep my tech stuff if I have anything. So tech stuff like chargers, tripod, which is right here. It's not in the bag because I'm using it. Go here, and then if I have a laptop, I do bring a laptop, that goes in this bag, uh, ah, this section, which is really cool because there is like a little, little slot here that you can slide that in. There's a slot here, and it's really, really padded, and I'm somebody who kind of throws my bags around, so it's good to have your super expensive, high-tech tech, high-tech tech, high tech, tech? in uh, this kind of padded. So I don't have the laptop in there, but that's where it would be. So this, this little drawer right here, lots of little hidden compartments. Ooh, but when you go hiking, you could put, you know, I don't know, your sewing kit? Not sewing kit, first aid kit. You know, when you go sewing on your hiking trips. And there's a ton of little pockets for pens and stuff like that. I love it, I love it. If this was a, this is like a dope ass school bag. And then what do we have down here in the depths? Ooh, the depths. Ooh, hi freckles. I have a freckly arm. Oh, okay. So I've got the old phone charger right here. And then I love this guy, this brand. Jason introduced me to it. It's a super fast charger. It charges your phone like hella fast. And I love it. And then we have like a, oh, here's my sewing kit. <laughs> Just kidding, what's sewing? This is usually where I put like tampons and stuff in this little Swedish beauty. <laughs> what am I, a tanner? I don't tan but that's the brand. So, oh, no more tampons in here. Oh, I better leave this out and fill it up. So we've got Exeterin, extra strength, that's important. We've got a shout wipe to go because I'm messy as hell. And then we've got some tissues for snot rags or stuff in your bra. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't need to stuff, I'm stacked. And uh, what else do we have? That's it, that's it for this one. So not a lot of tech stuff, but like I said, if I do have my laptop, I would put the charger in this little section. Let's put that back in there so I don't forget. As a matter of fact, let's let's be putting things back in here because I have to go teach tonight and I'm gonna be like, where's my venture car? Do, 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 and leave it right here like a big doofus. Also, hot, hot news for those of you who've been following my Facebook, not Facebook, my YouTube Live. I did a YouTube Live with Scott Duff and I lost my tripod. Oh, and so he let me borrow one. And then today I did our Petals and Pricks podcast, which you should check out, links below with Jonah Jerkins. And the tripod that is happening right here, I left it at Jonah Jerkins house. Oh, all is well, all is well. Even though I already ordered a new tripod on Amazon. So now I have two tripods, oops. Moving on, moving on. This is the big pocket. Let's save that for last, because I'm a little afraid of what's in there. I really should have checked this bag before I put the contents on the internet. Too late now! Okay, so here's this front part. Let's see what's in here. There are no compartments, it's just like one big empty space. What's this? Oh, it's a comb. Ew, hair. And also a stabbing device protection. Um, yeah, so you can just do some bangs. Do, 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 do. There's a comb in there. That's like old as hell. What else do I have? Oh, a brush, also filled with hair. Gross. What else, what else? Was Another brush? Why do I have so many brushes in here? All right, well, we could probably put that one in the closet. And then what is this? Oh, cards! I have business cards that are all janky because I leave them in here forever. So we've got a uh, Kelsey Huff business card, and then we've got a Kate's business card in there in case you ever want to do business, comedy business. And then what else do we have? Ooh, a snack! Ooh, this is old. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is this? This is Rude Health The Peanut. Gluten-free, contains nuts, seeds, fruit, and deliciousness. So there's that, see? Deliciousness proven. I have not eaten this. Eaten? I have not eaten this. Well, let's just save that. Well, when's the expiration date? Best used by 1906, uh, 2018. Well, let's keep it. Get in there. Okay, which brush do I want to keep? I'll leave that one. I'll put this one back. Clearly, I have a lot of brushes. You'd think my hair would look brushed more often. <laughs> no. Putting it back, putting it back, zipping it up. All right, next up, the big zip. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da, ba -da. This is where most of the stuff dwells. So let's get in on it. All right, first thing I see is the massive scarf. Oops, and then my mom got these, or sorry, Santa, it was in my stocking, for Christmas, some gloves that match the old scarf that she saw because she watches YouTube and she's like, she talks about mustard a lot. I'm gonna give her something mustard. Boom, nailed it. So we've got this scarf that I have from, uh, whoa, from a while ago. It's a big in. And you guys have seen this a million times, so I don't need to go into details of that. Got it at Forever 21. <gasps> whoa, hold still scarf. And then these, my mom was very adamant about saying that these were not Green Bay Packers colors. Even though they are. 
<laughs> and you know, I'm from Illinois and where I grew up, it's like at the border of Illinois and Wisconsin. And there was like some straight up, you know, Chicago Bears versus Green Bay Packer wars, which is a very ridiculous thing to me because I don't know why people fight about sports teams because the people on sports teams don't know who you are, but whatever, you have to find a thing. So my mom was very adamant being a Bears fan that these were not Green Bay Packer colors. And now you know. And inside, they're really nice, whoa. They have this like nice fluffy little fleecy thing in there. That's that because who knows? You never know what weather is gonna be like in Chicago. You never know. It could be 70 and then it could be negative 20. What else do I have? Ooh, I have a bottle of water with some water in it. That's why this bag's so heavy. That makes sense. That makes sense. I have this in there because I am doing a class tonight and if I don't put water in here, I forget and then I'm talking for two hours and I'm all like dry and crusty, so. This will help. This will help my dry and crusty body. Rose, I have this book that I'm reading and I'm almost done. Look how close. Oh, I hope I finish it today. Yeah, so I've been reading a bunch of Tana French. I think I talked about it in my old empties videos, but this is the first one that she wrote in the woods. And oh man, it's creepy town. I'm telling you. I don't know about you guys, but if I watch, whoa, stop shaking. If I watch too many like detective or murder shows or read too many detective murder shows, I start seeing everybody as a murderer. I'm like, what's your motive? What's your deal? What's your backstory? Oh. I've read like three of these in the last two weeks. Stop shaking the camera, Kelsey. Read a lot of those, so I need to maybe read something not murder related because suddenly I'm like, lock them up! Knock it off. Oh, okay, okay. So I have other gloves in here, but let me explain. I love these gloves so much, but I, they're so great. I got them at um, Waypoint Films, which is this company over in Denver, and I got them from a shoot I was working on. They gave them to me, and this is their, uh, this is their company. So if you're ever in Boulder and you need someone to film something for you, check out <gasps> Waypoint Films. Suddenly this is an ad, not sponsored, hey. But I love these, gla uh, these glasses. Glasses. Whoa, slow down, Kelsey. I love these gloves that they gave me. They have these like little sticky things on them, which is really great for grasping. They're like crew gloves, you know, if you're moving equipment. And they also have the smart technology stuff on the fingertips so you can wear these while you're outside in the freezing and also be able to use your phone. So I love these. And the reason why I have these in my bag is because I left them at my Aunt Paula's house for uh, Christmas and my mom brought them back. She babysits my little niece uh, once a week, so. <sighs> She brought them back and I was missing them. So I got two pairs of gloves, which is amazing because I usually lose one by the end of the season because I'm an adult. I've got this, everything's filled with hair. What's happening? I got this glasses case, which is very old and it has a glasses on there in case you don't realize what the case is for. Thank you pictures. And oh, my glasses aren't in here. They must be uh, somewhere else. <laughs> I am a detective. And then I have this little thing which helps you wipe off your glasses because my glasses are always filled with schmutz. There we go. We're moving along, we're moving along. We've got a field notes book, hey, and a little pen. This is a Bic all, what is this? An exact Bic Atlantis. Ooh, again, great for writing on hands. I don't need to do it this time because I still have some, I just can't lick the ink off. But yeah, this is what I use when I do classes. This is what I use when I do hosting gigs. These tiny little notebooks come in real, real handy. So I always have one of these and a little pen in my big part oh, of the backpack. Yeah, I love it. And you know, I think it was November empties that I said that I probably wouldn't buy these because they're more expensive. I take it back, I would buy these. Field notes, you got me. You won me over in the end. And what else do we have? Oh, we have like old gum, very tail end of it. Ooh, I've got two more pieces left. Exciting times. Let's just pull up this bad boy. This is my big notebook. So I always carry around like a five star or something that's five star-esque. You know, this size, college rule, a uh, hundred page, a smaller one. I used to carry a five subject one around and dang, that was heavy to carry around. But this is where I put my morning pages, my notes, anything I have stream of conscious, my bachelor, bachelorette notes. Like I used to ha try to have like a bullet journal, which is a little bit smaller, but I find that I need, I know they say if you have a smaller journal, you have more concise notes, you'll be more organized. I just find that this works for me. It really has worked for me ever since I was in uh, high school. I always had like a journal-esque slash thing going on. And I know a lot of people have like different notebooks for different things and they're very beautiful and organized. This helps me. I found something that worked. And I love that they have uh, folders in here so I can shove like my headshots in here. If I'm going to an audition, I can shove them in there. And Oh, actually I have something fun in here. I think if you were on my Instagram stories, you would have seen that when I went back to, uh, to Christmas, my mom gave me this printout. So Mrs. Savage, her maiden name is uh, Genevieve Moore. Genevieve Moore Savage is her name. She uh, was uh, one of my, she's my relatives. She was uh, my grandpa Davis's side. She was one of the 99ers, which is a female force of the um, 
the Air Force. How cool is that? And there's a couple of other really strong, uh, rad women on my uh, grandpa's side. So I keep that in there. I'm not quite sure if I want to research her more, but I have it on here just in case I go to the library because you know I said I would do that in 2018. <laughs> research it up, maybe write about her a little bit. And yeah, I usually try to fill these notebooks up like, you know, a month and a half, two months. I feel like that's a good time for me. Yeah, I like to have, I like to have page goals. So hopefully you won't be seeing this after February. New notebook, that's an exciting time. We are getting to the tail end of this bad boy. What do we have here in the depths? The depths of the bag. We have, oh, some Walgreens sugar-free cough drops. Not that exciting. And we have a wallet in here for sure. But we also have these, oh yeah, easy to fold. I love these bags. So, you know, in Chicago, they, they charge you for bags, which I think you should do because, you know, you have to have incentive for not trashing the environment for some reason. Oh, humans were the dang worst. So I have these easy fold bags just saved in here in case I pop into some sort of Walgreens or a grocery store, boom, have them in there. Often I forget them, but I'm really glad that they're in here this time. And then I have um, a piece of beef jerky. <laughs> Not like a random piece, it's in, it's in a package. <laughs> Could you imagine if I just like, oh, some dried beef. Gross! Yeah, this is um, epic, 100% grass-fed brief, brief? Reading is hard. Reading rainbow. Reading beef bow. <laughs> that is way gross. So yeah, sometimes I need snacks. Actually, I'm really surprised there aren't as many snacks as there usually are in here. <laughs> Oh, phew, dodged a bullet on that one. And then I have, oh, a lot of wrappings. Ew, gross. Ooh, extra gum. I'm gonna eat it. It's not loose. It was wrapped. I don't know why I was doing taps for the gum. Weird. And then I have a really old skanky wallet. <laughs> Uh, I definitely need a new wallet. One of these days I'll buy one, but you know when you find the perfect wallet size? Like it's all, I don't know if I should open this because I don't want to show you any of my like private stuff, but it's got like so many compartments. It's just like I've worked out a system where all my cards are everywhere and like it just feels perfect. This is like great for change or sometimes great for like the venture card thing. I just, there's a little space in here. I just love it and I feel like wallets are either this size but then there's not enough room inside like or they're like half this size and I don't like that because I like, I like a good long wallet. So I think I got this at Target. It has got to be like, it's ripping apart. I mean, it is ganky. Oh wait, <gasps> change is falling out the side. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. This, I definitely need a new wallet. So yeah, I got 11 cents. Boom. Hey, hey, hey. I got to tell you, that's somebody who goes in for like trendy things. Like I will wear something out until it like busts. I guess that's just that like working, working class mentality. That's it. That's what's in my bag. Designer bag? Nope. Useful? Probably not. Does anybody even want to watch this video? I doubt it. But I feel now that I'm a part of YouTube because I did a what's in your bag video. So thank you for watching. So give it a thumbs up. Share. You know all the things that you're supposed to do on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.